Hello there, welcome back. We'll continue with our concepts on PHP. In this session, we'll be looking at uh, some string handling functions in PHP. So string handling functions in PHP is the topic for this session. We'll not look at all the string handling functions. We have a huge set of string handling functions in PHP. We'll take a few of the functions. We'll try to understand their usage. So first we'll start off with finding string length. So let's declare a string. Let me give my name Satish and uh, how will you print the string length? You call this function string length and then you pass the variable. So now the length of the string is printed. Length of the string is nothing but number of uh, characters within that string. Let's take a look at the next function printing the number of words in a string. So string word count say Satish is not good at PHP and you want to find the number of words here you can go with this uh, function string word count and then pass the variable. So now it prints the number of words which 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you have 6 words here. Let's take a look at the output. The output will be 6. So that is the use of string word count prints the number of words. Now let's take a look at the next string handling function, string reverse. For this, let's declare a string. I'll just use my name here. And we'll echo the reverse of the string by using this function, string reverse, pass the variable. So it takes the string and then reverses it. You'll be able to see the output here. So this is the reverse of the string. The next string handling method that we're going to see is uh, strpos is used for searching a string within another string. For instance, we'll say Satish is uh, working at VIT. Now, if I want to search for working within the string, how will I search? So it's going to be echo strpos. We have to pass the string within which we are going to search. So we're going to search this in the string dollar name. And what is that we are going to search working? So let's uh, see the output here. So 10, 10 is actually the index where working is occurring within that string. So what is written by this function? The index where the first match occurs within that string. Suppose we are searching for something that's not present in the string. For instance, we are searching for good which is not present in the string, then what will be returned? What it returns is a false. So what is getting returned? If there is no match, the output is a false here. So that's the use of this specific string handling method, strpos. Now let's take a look at the next string handling method, string replace, that is str replace. So it's used for a replacing a part of the string with another string. So let me replace Satish with Matthew here. So for this, I should be calling this function string replace string underscore replace. And uh, first we have to pass what is that we are going to replace in the string We're going to replace Satish with what we're going to replace Satish with Matthew. And what is the string we are using here? dollar name, the variable name you have to give. So now instead of Satish, Matthew is working at VIT will be printed. You see, Matthew is working at VIT. So we have replaced Satish with Matthew. So that's the use of string replace. Now we'll take a look at the very important function string compare. String compare is used for comparing two strings. Let me take up two strings here. Let me go with uh, first string to be Satish, that is dollar name one. And let's take another string dollar name two, that's also Satish. Now we'll compare these two strings. So it's string compare and we'll pass these two variables dollar name one, comma dollar name two. So what will happen here? If the strings are equal, the output will be zero. Let's take a look at the output. So if the strings are equal, the output is zero. What happens if name one is greater than name two? So here, lowercase s has gotten 
higher ASCII value than capital S. So name 1 is greater than name 2. In that case, a positive value will be returned. So positive value is returned. A negative value is returned vice versa. Say if name 1 is lesser than name 2, what will be the output here? The output will be a negative value. So that's how you use string compare for comparing two strings and this is case sensitive comparison. So you see here if there is a difference in case, it's not saying the strings are equal. But then if you want to ignore the case, we can go with string case compare. Now it's going to ignore the case and then compare the values. So what will be the output here? Both of them contain Satish and you ignore the case. So the output should be zero. So the output is zero is that we are performing here. We are ignoring the cases when we are comparing the strings. Next, uh, let's take a look at the next variation for string comparison that is string n compare. So what is string n compare? We can force comparison of a particular set of characters in two strings. For instance, if I have here sat, sat and satish. So you see uh, these two strings match only in the first three characters. I can enforce compare only three characters in these two strings by using string n compare. So this is the first variable, second variable followed by number of characters we need to compare in both these uh, variables. So first three characters will be compared and the output will be returned as 0. Got it? Suppose you have something like this. Uh, you have SAT in caps and SAT in lowercase letters. Say string n compare is case sensitive. That is when the cases are different, it's going to return us a different value. Say here the cases don't match and we perform the first three characters comparison. It returns a minus 1 because the ASCII of capital SAT is lesser than cap. Uh, lower case SAT. So name 1 is less than name 2. So minus 1 is getting written. But then if you want to ignore cases, what you can do is string n case compare. Now you are ignoring the cases and the output will be 0. So you can compare n characters within two strings and still ignore cases. And that's the variation of this string compare method. I hope you are able to follow the various uh, string compare strategies we have discussed just now. Let's take one more final string handling method substring before winding of this session. So we'll look at this uh, method substring in uh, PHP. So what we'll do is we'll take a name one. We'll just find the substring. That is, we'll extract the first three characters and print it out. So how will you use this method? The method is substring. You're passing name one and the starting position is index zero extract three characters from index zero. So what will be the output? It starts from index zero extracts three characters number of characters. So this is the starting position. This is the number of characters. The output is going to be SAT. So that's it. That's how you use string handling functions in PHP. I hope you are able to follow all these string handling functions. We have discussed uh, more important string handling functions here like string comparison, string position, string replay, string word count, string length and substring. And there are other various string handling functions which you can explore on your own. Let's wind up string handling functions in PHP with this concept. I hope you are able to follow all these things. Thank you all for listening. Take care.